Good morning everyone. As you can see, the smile is back on the face <laughs> during the morning. Uh, the opportunity clock ran, uh, rang at uh, 5.30 a.m. Get up from bed, started walking. And let me just tell you how fun wonderful this is. I do, I do not know if it's the sensational uh, happiness of the fact that I did get up 5.30. Or if it's something else, it must be part of this miracle morning, but wow. It was nice to wake up, nice to be on the running track once again, even though I'm walking. My knees are starting to feel better now. Uh, let's hope that they will heal to the normal once again, hopefully fast. But yeah, 5.30 a.m. Who would have thought that I would go for a walk 5.30 a.m., let's say two weeks ago? Because three weeks ago this wouldn't have happened in the best of circumstances. And 5.30, yeah. It feels nice though. And there are no, uh, what would you call it? Uh, it's not a rush hour on the running track at least. Haven't met a single person yet. Uh, maybe they will come out once I get closer to home when it starts to be something like six o'clock or something like that. Yeah, so let's see what this day will bring. I will head back home. Uh, we will have the normal Merkel morning routine. I will head to work. I believe I will uh, go to the work a bit earlier today and try to work, uh, let's say, try to work out the backlog of things that I have at work. Uh, I think with this feeling that I have right now, it should be a magnificent day at work. It should be. I don't know what could take this enthusiasm down. Maybe something, but right now I don't know what that would be. Wow. Uh, but I must say, it. I think my wife will propose that we should start waking up five in the morning and do this miracle morning walk or something like that. I have a <laughs> assumption at least that she would like to take more power out of this. Uh, so let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, anyhow, now I will just continue head home after that. Uh, the normal routines to work. It will be a magnificent day and I will talk to you this evening. Okay, good, bye. Hello again. So day 15 is coming to an end. Now I'm starting to realize that I should have some kind of calendar where I write down what day it is because I I have to like start thinking that wait a minute, what 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 number was this? Well at number 15 we're at half point at this moment. Uh, today, as you probably saw from the previous video, if the recording was okay and it wasn't too windy this morning, you might have seen me on the track this morning. Uh, so, woke up 5.30, we went to bed quite late, uh, or we went on time to bed, but we couldn't sleep due to the fact that we had some uh, coffee quite late in the evening and hence it was difficult to his falling asleep. Um, I, I had lots of thoughts last night and I come up, came up with some nice, very nice ideas and I was so excited that I wanted to tell my wife but I thought she was asleep and then one hour later when we both turned and 
I opened my eyes and she was looking at me and we were both awake and whoa, are you still awake? I think according to the activity bracelet, uh, I recorded like 3 hours and 43 minutes of sleep last night. Uh, but I feel surprisingly energetic right now. I do know that once I hit the sack, so to say, I will sleep right away and I will sleep like a baby. Uh, but for some reason I don't have the same feeling that I had if I like ha had I done this one month ago I would be half dead basically at this hour and I think it has something to do with the fact that I actually managed to do all the lifesavers properly today and I mean properly today I can be proud of myself I did it I did the meditation almost uh, a bit more than four minutes almost five minutes but not exactly five minutes though uh, we did it together with my wife we were in complete silence and then after that it felt it felt good I, I, I I'm starting to see the benefits on that uh, the relaxation, the complete emptiness in mind, uh, trying to empty out everything, just breathe. Uh, very nice ex experience. Uh, after that, I did uh, write down my goals once again. I did do the affirmations. I did the scribing. I wrote down what I'm thankful of, in other words. Uh, I wrote some affirmations for myself. I'm a good husband's husband since I do this and this and that. I'm a good father since I do this and this and this. Uh, I consider myself to be a good brother since I do blah blah blah. Uh, and it felt nice. And today actually I have to say that I felt the power of goal setting. Uh, in my workplace we usually bring in some sweets, uh, something like cake or something like that for the coffee breaks. Uh, if we're A, going for a holiday, coming from a holiday, if I have a birthday, if I have a names day, if, I, if my children have a birthday, basically then we have Monday cake, we have Friday cake, you get the point, we basically eat cake all the time. Uh, of course I'm exaggerating a bit but there, but it seems that there's lots and lots of opportunities to eat some good stuff. Uh, cookies, cakes, whatever. And today I was going to get a cup of coffee. I saw a huge bunch of sweets on the table that please take available for everyone. And I was starting to glide towards them because it's impossible to just walk by, by them like that. But then I remembered that I had this morning written down a goal, lose X amount of kilos until the 40th birthday, which means that I have basically one year to do it. Now, if I'm going to lose all that weight, that is my goal weight, uh, I have to work on it. I, I do have to put, put in some effort, but since I wrote down the goal, I could feel that once I was starting to glide towards the sweets, I started feeling that, whoa, wait a minute, you're not going to get to that goal if you go there now. Hence, I went, took an apple, uh, took a glass of water, went back to my seat, didn't even take the coffee. Now, that felt good. And it gave me, it wasn't like I was sad that I can't, uh, I want to I take a cookie. Uh, or like that. I, I, I felt the pride in myself. I felt good afterwards that no, wait a minute, you want to weigh X amount of kilos in just one year, maybe I just go for the apple. Good choice. Uh, nice choice actually. Now tomorrow is the weight weigh-in day for me since I take my weight on uh, Tuesdays. I do think I have gained some weight due to the fact that last weekend we had the visitors, we had some sweet, sweets and so on, blah blah blah. However, I do think that uh, you can't be too strict with all these things. I know that's exactly the reason why many people end up never losing weight. But on the other hand, I'm still doing all these things 
trying to go out for a walk every day have succeeded all but was it what is it one day of 15 days I have uh, almost doubled the amount of walking per month now today it's the 18th of uh, July and I have already passed the average amount of steps I have taken per month and I still have like 12 days to go on this month which means that I should be way way above the average on steps during one month's period now that can simply it's impossible not to show on the weight uh, I think if I do it consistently consistent, cons consistently throughout the year there will be a change on my 40th birthday now that wasn't the only thing I did uh, uh, during the morning uh, morning uh, routine I also started reading actual book now this is a Finnish book by a uh, CEO former CEO of Kone Cranes Finnish company uh, the person's name is Matti Alahuhta uh, did some work first at Nokia and then at Kone Cranes made uh, did some good work, really good work, improved the company, improved the company's net worth uh, quite substantially and also paid dividends to the shareholders. So his views are valid at least, he has a point, if he says something we should listen and I started listening, uh, reading this book, I read it for 15 minutes uh, I think tomorrow I will have to put, set my alarm clock ringing so that I won't be reading this on the evening also. I have a tendency to go into the books so deeply that I don't hear anything, I don't see anything else than the book. If it's a good book I have that tendency. But now, so every morning I'm doing actual reading nowadays. Not only the audiobooks, I still listen to them, which brings me to the fact that I once again finished listening to Jim Collins' How the Mighty Fall. Now, that's an interesting topic for me, also related to the leadership book here, because uh, that book is describing uh, how do these magnificent companies, the mighty companies of the world, how do they fall? down to almost nothing, perish. Uh, and there were some good examples, what happens in these companies that are starting their descent and so on. Now, as a Finnish uh, citizen, I'm still a bit shocked what happened to Nokia, being the number one in the mobile handsets and then declining, declining, declining. Okay, the network is starting to come up again, they may be doing some consumer products again, but they did fall. That's the main point. Why does this happen? Uh, Jim Collins is also known, perhaps most known, for his other book, Good to Great, and he also has a good book called Built to Last. Now, <clears throat> when I was listening to this How the Mighty Fall, I once again got an idea that I have to read two more books, I have to buy two more books they will be in audio format so I can listen to them and the one is actually right now the presidential race in the United States is going hot, growing hot at least and one of them is the former former Republican uh, nominee uh, Carly Fiorina she worked for the HP Hewlett and Packard uh, from 1999 to something like 2005 one of the books I would like to read is her biography or the book which is telling about her time at HP and now later on we can say that okay she made some mistakes was it only her fault I don't know interest it would be interesting to read what happened there and then compare that book with the book from the IBM CEO from the, uh, from the 90s. Now, I have to say, 
that I don't even recall the name of the IBM CEO during that time. I only recall the name of his book that was published, uh, which was, uh, I think the name was Who Said That The Elephants Can Dance, or something like this, which describes his point of view or his time at the IBM. IBM, of course, went up, HP went down, it would be interesting to compare these two books and then also to compare both of them to this book uh, and see if they have some commonalities blah 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 and of course then to reference all these three different leadership books uh, compare it to the How, Did, How the Mighty Fall by Jim Collins if I can see some points in that uh, but that's definitely something that I'm really interested in uh, how do these decisions, some cru crucial decisions, how do they affect huge companies. It also shows that no company is too big to fail. Uh, if they make mistakes, bad things happen. If they make good things, good things might happen. Uh, so that's what I have been doing now. Uh, today and actually tomorrow morning I will set my alarm opportunity clock <clears throat> saying it wrong all the time. I will set my opportunity clock to 5 a.m. I will try at least and uh, yeah it will be a perfect day tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening I will be telling to you about Dave Ramsey and his book The Total Money Makeover, his podcast The Dave Ramsey Show and his uh, Financial Peace University uh, study kit or the course financial piece you can go and uh, take them in the States or maybe you can purchase the Financial Peace University from uh, well Amazon uh, whatever eBay also used ones uh, but Dave Rams is very good listen uh, the podcast is excellent the books are excellent uh, but the most important thing is the information that he's sharing with the with the listeners, with the readers. Uh, it's about personal finance. It has lots to do with me and my wife. We have some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, we had quite a history with Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich. We have almost the same kind or maybe even better story related to Dave Ramsey and how he was involved in one way in our wedding. Uh, wedding. Uh, he wasn't there. He didn't do anything so that it happened, but there's some neat information, uh, but I, I will reveal them to you tomorrow, okay? Thank you for today. See you at day 16 of this Miracle Morning Challenge. Thanks, good night, bye.